Hello, I'm Kyle with Trident Fly Fishing. Today we're going to tie Samuel Slaymaker's Little Brook Trout. This fly is part of a series of three streamers that Mr. Slaymaker designed to imitate trout fry and take advantage of the trout's predatory instincts. The other two flies in this series are the Little Brown Trout and the Little Rainbow Trout. Joseph Bates's book, Streamers and Bucktails, The Big Fish Flies, recommends a six extra long hook in sizes two to 12. And the recipe that I'm using for this fly also comes from the book. Here's a completed fly in the vise. So this hook is a Mustad L78, which is a three extra heavy, seven extra long. And the thread we're gonna to use today is gonna to be Vivas GSP 50D in black. And we'll start with the thread about an eye length and a half behind the hook eye. Lay down a thread base all the way back to the bend of the hook. Cut off our excess. First material we're going to tie in is going to be the tail. It's going to be some green bucktail. It's going to be fairly sparse, so there's probably going to be about 15 strands or so on the tail. Now you can hand stack this or you can stack it in a stacker. And so I don't know what's there, maybe 20 strands. So again, a sparse tail. We want this tail to be about a hook width in length, maybe just a little bit longer. Tie that in. And again, I like to run my thread back up to the hook eye capture all my materials, cut off our excess. Run our thread back down to the base of the tail. Back up to the front, we're going to tie in a red tag that's going to sit on top of the tail. For that we're going to use Danville's four strand nylon. We'll use all four strands. I we'll want this right on top of the hook. It's going to sit right on top of that green tail. And we want it to be about two-thirds the length of the tail. Like that. The next material we're going to tie in is going to be the rib. So we'll run our thread back up. And here we're going to tie in our rib. This is a uni French tinsel in the size small. This is really tough stuff, so use your, use your crappy scissors for this. I like this French tinsel because it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it. I'm going to tie that on the near side of the hook. Run our thread all the way back to the base of the tail again. And the next material we're going to tie in is going to be for the body. The original recipe just called for cream colored fur. What I have here is Nature Spirit Snowshoe Rabbit Foot Dubbing in cream. This takes a little bit of time because it's a long shanked hook. Now we're going to wrap our rib forward. It's going to take probably about six turns. Nice, even, open spiral turns. And when we get up to our tie-in point, tie that off.
And again, your special scissors for cutting heavy wire. Next material we're going to tie in is going to be some orange bucktail for the throat. So this is going to be on the bottom of the hook. We want about as much as we use for the tail, so it's fairly sparse. Tie this in right on the bottom of the hook. It's just a tad long. Snip off our excess material. On the left. Next material is going to be the wing. It's going to be white bucktail. And again, we're keeping this fairly sparse, but this will be the biggest clump that we tie in. It's probably going to be about 30, 35 pieces of hair. And we're going to tie those in so they're just a little bit longer than the tail of the fly. If you can, you want to pick your material from up towards the tail of the bucktail. It won't flare as much. When we reach the eye, we'll cut our material off. So as you tie in your bucktail material, um, if it tends to flare on you, the last couple of turns you take as you tie it in, if you, tie, if you make the turns light, it will tend to lay the hair down more, like that. Next color is orange, so maybe 15 hairs or so. So once you're satisfied with the length, lay that in right on top of the white. It turns up to the eye. Cut off your excess material. Make turns at the base of the eye and wrap back. That's going to keep the head smooth. And the next will be green. Same thing, pretty sparse, 15 pieces or so. Lay those right on top like that. Make some thread wraps to keep that head neat, but don't take too many. Again, you can really pile a thread up here easy if you're not careful. And our last material is going to be badger fur. We're looking for the long guard hairs here. It also has some significant under fur. We're going to strip most of that out. Put that right on top. Once you're satisfied with the shape of the head, you can make a four or five turn whip finish. Cut your thread and apply some head cement. And that's it. This is a really durable fly and one that the bass and trout are really going to like. Please feel free to leave comments. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button at the bottom of the page to keep you up to date on all the latest content at Trident Fly Fishing. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again next time.